Even Lionel gets frustrated. We all get frustrated and sometimes burnt out. What matters is how you deal with it and how you get your creative juices flowing once again. So you're gonna see some of our ways to do a creative reset, but the most important thing is finding what works for you. So today's tip is identify who you are and what your unique creative reset is. Good luck. to go into the lobby and light some incense and I put on headspace and I put on like music that really aligns my chakras. I do this like chanting dance that I made up that's kind of like a call for creativity, like a rain dance I guess I would compare it to. Go outside, get a breath of fresh air. Am I supposed to be looking off camera like ignore? I like to take a nice big fresher breath air. <laughs> when I get stuck creatively, I like to go outside and have a nice big breath of fresh air. <sighs> I ideally would take a few days to forget about the footage and then see it fresh, but you don't always have that amount of time. And so just some sunlight, just the long walk. Yeah, 100% solar powered hair. <laughs> One thing you can do is go for a coffee. Maybe listen to some music. Listen to your favorite music, your songs that make you happy. I tend to like to go and try to do a creative thing that's outside of the computer. So I'll go and like paint or carve or find something else to do. I find that it makes my creative thought process expand from the little bit that I've been doing all day. If that makes any sense. Like I could go outside and look at the leaves and the trees, but then that makes me think of something creative. So I guess that is a creative reset. I go outside and I stare at trees like right up in the bark so I can see like the ants and everything crawling on the on the bark and the leaves I'm like a druid only with a lot more socks <laughs> <laughs>